All right, uh, shout out to my second sub, Thrillionaire. And today we're going to talk about transferring. And first of all, I'm going to demonstrate on how it is done on official or unofficial servers. And point out a couple things. This is an official server right here, 741. You might recognize the transmitter. And I'm taking off all my stuff and uploading into the transmitter. And you notice that there's little timers there, because after 24 hours, those will disappear. So I have 24 hours to get my stuff out of the transmitter. Also, there's timers on some things that I picked up and put into my inventory after I logged on to the server, and there is a timer there that I can't upload those things into the transmitter until that timer expires. Doubtless this is a PvP thing where they don't want people grabbing stuff and going back and forth, I don't know. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go to another server. Uh, any of these Ragnarok servers will probably do. Um, just because it's easy to get to the uh, obelisk from there. Alright, and you see that I've got items that aren't allowed. Those are the things that were in my inventory that had the timer. But this is kind of how it works uh, on any of the dedicated servers. And since I haven't been there, I don't have a bed or anything down there. I'm just going to go ahead and spawn in. Near the obelisk. And notice that I just spawn in. There's none of that groaning, scratching business. I'm just there. And welcome to official. There's teleporters and all kinds of stuff there. Uh, but we'll just run right up to the obelisk. And have a look. You see people leaving their teams all over here. All right. And I go in there and there is the stuff that I uploaded. And notice there's nothing on my hot bar. There's nothing uh, in the inventory that was there before. It was all dropped. All right. And I can put that stuff on. But now, uh, if I log into there, let me just grab that egg. Since it's there. But now, there is... Uh, there, there was a timer there. Uh, so I got to wait for that timer to expire before I can leave with my stuff. Basically. So here I am after being a... I went ahead and let the timer expire and goofed around and gathered some other stuff and tried to tame a moss chops, which didn't work out. But anyway, so now you see I got a bunch of stuff in my inventory. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave that stuff on there. I've got some stuff in my hot bar. You can see. So I might, um, yeah, I just put some arrows in the arc data tab, but I'm going to leave everything else on me. All right, so we're going to go ahead and transfer back to my Volgaro home, 741, and it says I have some items not allowed. I don't know what those items are, but we'll just go ahead click OK. That's unexpected there. I don't know why that thing kind of glitched in there. But anyway, 
We're loading the map. And there's my bed on my raft. We're going to go ahead, transfer in, and there I am right away. No moaning, ball scratching, any of that stuff. I'm just right there. And look at my hot bar. All that stuff is in my hot bar still, and the stuff is still in my inventory. Obviously, there must have been some stuff still on the. I guess that's to kind of prevent people from doing what I did. There's my arrows. All right. So, yeah. So this is how you travel on official. Pretty painless, right? So, th all right. So let's look at. Uh, single player a little bit different okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into uh, let's see I think Ragnarok was the last place I was so we'll just go ahead and download into there So obviously the last time I played I went ahead and uploaded my character. Now I'm going to go ahead and download right there. I have a bed. So we'll go ahead and download into the bed. And you notice right away there's a big difference. I'm moaning and groaning and scratching and doing all the stuff. Uh, we didn't see that in the official servers. It's a little bit more straightforward. Okay, but we'll just go back out. Alright, there's a green drop there that I'm going to want in a bit. But we'll just go ahead uh, while we're waiting for that. Why don't we just go ahead and go to the obelisk? But you see there, I got nothing on me. All right. We're going to look into the obelisk, into the Arc Data tab. And this is pretty much the state that it was uh, coming from the center when I uploaded off of there. Uh, we'll just split that meat. I'm gonna not gonna use all of that. Uh, somewhere along the line, I got some glasses. Let's take those. Let's go ahead and take those and put them on my hat. And we'll just put the hat on. Put the meat in there. Put the hat on. Looks like I have a headband. Yo, man. All right. Let's get. We're gonna get that drop. There's pretty some pretty decent stuff in there. I mean, this this is stuff that I don't have here. So, but notice on that while we're in here, there's no tab to upload. You can go ahead and do the bosses, but I can't upload in, anything in there, and I can't transfer from a drop in single player like I can on the uh, official servers so that right away is what makes things a little one of many things that makes transferring different on single player uh, let me just drop all of that stuff in here and leave it here alright all right, we're back at the obelisk, and you see I've got all the stuff in here. I'm going to leave the stuff that I have, the, the meat on the hot bar and the hat on my head. I'm just going to leave that on as I do this, this particular transfer. I don't know why I got this Fiumio saddle, but... Maybe we'll use it, but we'll go ahead. 
and there we are and we have a quick note here all right this is this is quite easy whenever you get into this screen here and you'll get into it after you upload your character or when you're downloading your character this is this is the screen you get to okay if I hit cancel I end up here now there's no way if I hit escape nothing is happening but if I click anywhere on this screen oops up, 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 this creation screen uh, it doesn't matter and click escape I can exit back to my main menu okay and then I can just go back into uh, whatever map I want to put my single player in and it takes a minute to load okay and and there's my survivor from here I can click on this and download the survivor or I can cancel out and I'm back in here all right once again you can see I'm on the crystal isle map and if I just click over here hit escape and I'm back into I can go right back into the main menu it took me forever I was all F4 or hitting the X button up there uh, closing out the game and now I learned a new thing and now I'm passing that on to you so hopefully you find that helpful okay so we're just gonna go ahead and download onto Crystal Isle and go to my bed and here we go the moaning and the scratching it was cute at first and now it's just annoying but anyway so here I am in my shack it looks very much like the shack on Ragnarok doesn't it <laughs> all right so there I am you notice no hat and no meat in the hot bar there's teach but we'll go up here to the obelisk and you notice uh, I got my clothes here one thing I noticed when I came back from the center I looked in here and this is kind of the state that it was in all of the modded stuff wasn't on there the pods the awesome spyglass as well as the the potted dinos that I had those were the things that didn't transfer and the soul gun so that gave me one clue as to what part of my problem was um, yeah, I would just take a couple more things just leave the rest in there so that that was one clue as to what was going on but still doesn't serve solve the mystery and I'm just gonna uh, come back into my base here the old quick travel I'll show you how how I remedied one remedy that I had to this and that is since I'm using the dino storage uh, I have the dino storage terminal and I can use that to get my team back uh, I don't know where they went what happened to them but if I've ever had a dino in a pokeball I can get it back I've only got one dino that has never been in a pokeball and that's actually uh, my Sarko Glock 9 I should probably put him in there but I can just use that admin command there and I can open up and you see I have some options the import export option uh, I don't remember ever playing around with those so much but 
those are capabilities that you can do uh, but I pretty much stay in the local I just try that and you see every dino that's ever been in a pokeball is right there everyone including uh, Terrifier who was killed by a wyvern a couple episodes ago uh, I could bring him back what is dead may never die right uh, but that was that's and that's why a lot of people don't like these mods they can be game-breaking but they can also save a lot of trouble especially in, with this buggy sig single player it is buggy as Python discovered when he tried to transfer and he had a crash I didn't have a crash my machine did not crash it just simply refused to transfer over so some of that stuff over and I haven't quite figured out why that is yet so uh, I spend some time trying to troubleshoot a little bit I'm not going to go through the rest of the all the things that I tried but um, like I say my soul balls didn't transfer so I just put some crystal in there and I can just make some more make about 10 more and it a lot cheaper than cryopods that's that's one of the benefits of uh, this particular mod there's also no cryo sickness to worry about that there would be on single player anyway uh, so I'll just put half of those in my inventory and keep the crystal uh, you can also craft that stuff in your inventory and then my awesome spyglass we'll just go ahead and make one of those using the crystal that I have because that was also lost it's a separate mod from the dino storage so kinda get those things back for me uh, one of the things that I had potted up earlier was a dodo and so I was gonna go ahead and pot him up and I look out here and he's not here uh, so yeah I was I was gonna use him for a purpose and he just kinda disappeared I remember throwing him out there but he's not there anymore I don't know what happened to him, but I'm going to go ahead and use this to bring back this dodo here, right there. Named him after my uh, second subscriber. My subscriber base now has doubled since the last video. Yeah. I now have two subscribers, huh? There you go, three of you in there. And I noticed now that I spelled your name wrong, so I'll see if I can fix that. Uh, quick shout out here. But basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do attempt to do a couple things, and I'm not going to show all that because it just takes too long. But basically, I was trying to recreate the bug that happened uh, in two ways I basically take my soul ball and we're gonna fly over to the obelisk I'm gonna upload it in there transfer to Ragnarok and when I get to Ragnarok uh, gonna res up in there check the obelisk and when I do, Trillionaire is potted up nice and safe in there. So I thought, okay, maybe the problem was, is, is that I go to a map that I've never been to and the stuff doesn't want to transfer there. So the only, I've been to a lot of maps. One of the ones that I hadn't been to was Gen 1. And I was hoping that that might be an easy way I can get to a terminal pretty easy and quick. Which I was, but I'm not going to replay all that here. We'll go back to Gen 1 later. 
using what I learned this time, but when I got to the terminal, Trillionaire was indeed still in there. So I was not able to recreate the bug. So as of now, some of the stuff, single player is buggy. It does have some issues. There's two ways that I can deal with this. Uh, th well, three ways. One of them is to do, I could do what Python is doing. I could save the, do a game save before each transfer. I do a lot of transfers, as you can see. Uh, that, that would be a bit of a kludge. And especially at this stage, I'm not losing a lot of things. And using the mod, I can always get my creatures back. And that's the most important thing, because you spend time taming them, obviously, and taming and naming and do a lot saddles and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I can be made whole pretty easily. The equipment that I have is still pretty basic. Uh, now, when I get into more expensive stuff, we might do something different. But right now, uh, using the soul terminal is another option. One more option that exists is using a mod called Awesome Teleporter, which is just what it is, is a teleportation. And you can use that to, it can function as an obelisk to load things up and down and transfer maps off of that. Just like a transmitter. It works like a transmitter. It's also a teleporter. You can use a remote. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty overpowered. And also the other thing is, is if you die, you can recover your stuff off it. So it kind of makes something like the Fjord Hawk redundant. Uh, so I haven't put that on there, but if I get burned too much by this, then uh, then I'll consider using the awesome teleporter. Depending, we'll, we'll just take, we'll just use what we have right now, though. Uh, the the three mods that I have, I have S plus, di uh, the Dino storage mod, and the awesome spyglass. Those are, those are the three mods that I'm using right now, and so far those seem to be serving pretty well. Uh, and I know, like, Python isn't using any on his series. Rampy is doing a series similar to this, where he's going to go to other maps, but he's, he's taking one map at a time, so he's not going to have as many issues. And he hasn't had any issues, because he hasn't transferred yet. So I'll be watching his series with a lot of interest to see if he has any issues with his stuff uh, and how he handled it. But this, and, and I'll just kind of keep updated. And if I come up with anything else, we'll have another video. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And thanks for commenting and subscribing and uh, all the awesome stuff. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.